woke up this morning and I heard some some noise and uh, elk uh, jumped the fence there's a track my foot for comparison another track anyway he walked over there our truck camper is through the trees over here anyway he went back uh, he went and looked at the truck camper and then decided to head out here's a another track here they're fairly large I could hear them bouncing around back here but uh, never spotted them but I could hear them it's just a thumping sound you'll hear in the brush as you get kind of close to them they're pretty good at uh, they're pretty good at uh, keeping pretty well hidden they you know their sensors are a little bit more defined than ours well, particularly mine anyway I'll show you what we've been doing on the on the great uh, composting outhouse here just a little walk and that's where I was doing some cutting the gable gable ends and the and the roof is kind of on I've got to go pick up some more sheet metal for this to finish up the roof still haven't found a door for it but uh, at this stage of the game I'm okay just taking a piece of uh, OS OSB off of it they, there's no door for anybody to kick in here while we're gone I'm happy with that and in, inside it's all dry now we put a one seat in it's all I'm gonna use one seat and then I'll have uh, covers for them when they're not used this is a three barrel system here there'll be another barrel right over here another barrel here and this lifts up you can see we just got a big 55 gallon plastic drum down there and I'll have a little a uh, couple pieces of patio door glass greenhouse behind this wall to heat this area up and this will get a foam it'll get a foam seal on the top of the bucket against this piece of plywood and then a foam seal against this this piece here and that piece there to keep a tight seal I'll be bringing in some uh, plastic pipe that I'll drill through here and we'll send that up through the roof and then we'll have another piece of plastic pipe pipe and that will be holding some uh, insecticide to uh, kill any insects that managed managed to get in there and we've got this area over here is going to be where the little shower base is going to go I think I've showed you that before and then a, a washing machine over here the okay, other changes I, I made is I found a, a local up here and I'm going to have him do the septic and the well. He gave us a pretty good price on it. So since I can't get uh, that Harbor Freight mini excavator, it's backed out uh, for a couple of months right now. I just I can't afford to wait for it because the seasons are kind of short here and it just has to go in in order to move along on other projects. So. We'll do a video of him of that septic field going in uh, a little later, and allow me time to finish up this little this little uh, glorified uh, outhouse. What else? Yeah, sometimes you just can't do it all as much as you would like to. Yeah, that's another view back of the the outhouse and just walk around the property a little bit I think I've showed everybody our, uh, our setup at uh, where we kind of stay when we come in on, on weekends we got more than enough water there to take long hot showers every damn night I like that and we should try to get a mountain view here if we can
be great if that elk would, uh, even the deer would show itself. And Wonka Peak is over here. There's a lake back over here. I don't know if I've ever shown anybody that, but when the house is in, we'll be able to see it. So, until next week, I like to keep these short. I don't care to watch 20 minute ramblings of what it, whatever. And uh, I don't guess you guys uh, probably do either. Another shot of the, of the mountain. So, see you next week. All right, uh, and this will be another video. But anyway, if you have any uh, comments, uh, leave them in the in the boxes below, and I'll be happy to answer them. And again, like, comment, subscribe. It helps us out. Thank you. And uh, like I said, uh, this picture is a subject of another episode.